Now, I've just asked Richard a question. Um, in my life, uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. Yeah. In my life, Richard, I mean, I found it easy to put weight on. You don't have to eat a lot. You go up for two or three bikes, and I can feel I've actually gone bigger in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas I've had other friends in my life, and even older people, they can eat and drink whatever they want. They're not more active, but they just don't get fat. Yeah. Um, so there is differences, I understand, in the body. But is there any way you can analyse if people have a problem on why they are becoming overweight or why they are thin, in fact? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we can. I mean, the system will help with that, obviously, but there are some, some definitive criteria for that. So um, you've got to look at energy production in the body, the mitochondria, the ATP, the things that, the, you know, the body brings basically glucose into the cell, burns it, and the um, energy produced goes to power your nervous system, it goes to power the hormonal system, and it also powers the, the light body. So really we're beings of light, yeah? But really, energy production, um, you've got 75 trillion cells roughly in the body, each cell is like a battery. So, you know, if, you're, if you've got a car battery with seven volts in it, you, you know, you're not gonna start the car. If you've got 50 volts in the, in the car battery, you're gonna blow the car up. So you can have a brand new car, but if you've got a battery, it ain't gonna work. And the body's like that. You've got 75 trillion batteries, give or take, roughly. And so we've got to look at why those batteries are not being powered up. Now, typically, the more toxic you are, so that's the more fire retardants, the more pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, the more toxic res residues in your food. EMF exposure is a disaster. 10,000 reports over 60 years showing you the horrendous effects of microwave technologies. But ultimately, what's going to destroy energy production? Well, um, lack of good nutrition in food, so minerals and vitamins. Your thyroid controls very much your energy production of the body. So if your thyroid's out, then typically you either can't put weight on or can't lose weight. Yeah? And teeth. Teeth are amazingly important. You've got 12 main meridian channels in the body. And if you even have a filling, so that's the old amalgam fillings were the worst ones, so that's tin, iridium, mercury. They act like um, resistors in these circuits. Yeah, and one so, of the first things you said is, I've got a problem with my teeth, and then I admitted I actually have 12 yeah, fillings. Because we came up on straight away. Of and, mercury. Yeah, and all over the place, all those black sixes came up on your teeth. Mm. So when you've got those problems, you imagine having a normal circuit with, say, 12 volts running through it, and I, I put a resistor in there, I might only have 10 volts. So fillings in teeth can be horrendous, especially if they're mercury, because it resists it and brings the powering down. Now, root canals are even worse. Root canals act at the various stages after you've had them, maybe after six months to maybe five years, like um, circuit breakers. So the power isn't getting anywhere. So root canals, amalgams are major things in energy production. And also you're off-gassing things like mercury all the time. What's the body going to do with it? If the body hasn't got the power to detox normally, it will store it in fat cells. Yeah? It will store it in bone. It will do anything to get that those toxins out of the blood. Plus the position of the fillings are near the brain and the upper jaw. Absolutely, 100%. And each tooth is on a different meridian. They're only millimetres away. Oh, totally, totally. And so you're off-gassing all the time. So the, the thing about this is, is if you can have an analysis or get good information, you know, over a few hours or even one day, you can radically change your life because after that you can do the right things. And so... Teeth are a major, major problem. Um, for example, the Winston Pri uh, Western Price um, Association, he was an amazing guy back in the 30s. He found that, um, and top doctors are, are fi top naturopathic doctors are finding this all the time. For example, three top doctors in the States have found that women with breast cancers, 95% of them, 95% have uh, either a root canal or a filling in the tooth on the meridian that covers to govern the breasts. Wow, that's interesting. Ninety-five percent. I mean, that's mm. huge. And yet, of course, dentists are completely ignoring it, a bit like doctors. And I would suggest that, um, including my dentist, I thought I got rid of him fifteen years ago, have caused misery and suffering to to so many by ignoring the facts. You know, the facts are there in black and white. I mean, there's nothing. Well, I believe they should all be sued, and we've got letters being prepared of notice and intention to prosecute them. That's another there's story. Harry's and friends of mine doing the same thing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the bastards should be shot. I yeah. mean, if you get 75% of cancer doctors saying they wouldn't take their own medicine, yeah, I mean, th they should go to jail. Maybe we should just put one big two kilo filling in the mouth. Yeah, well, <laughs> exactly. Well, it's a bit like See that guy like with, 
the, the guy who was behind Monsanto with glyphosate, and he came on that, that program with a bottle of glyphosate. And he said it's perfectly safe, and the guy you can see this. The guy said, "I'll give you a thousand dollars or something if you drink no, it." No, the guy just said, "Okay, well, well, drink it then." He said, oh, "I don't mind drinking it." He said, "So I opened the top and gave it to him, and he said, well, I'm not that stupid." Yeah, yeah. but we are. Yeah. So <laughs> these people, unfortunately, are lying through their teeth. If you excuse the pun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so on, on this. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the analysis then. What, so, um, and I'm showing you this because, uh, Richard, you're quite prepared to do home visits when you're in the area, as we said before, but we'll, um, we'll put your contact details as well yeah. so people can get these. So, just looking, this is a slice through the umbilicus. So, we've got the sixes and fives. So, we've already found out that this is related to the colon by examining it. And what we're, not, what we're going to do now, we're going to send corrective healing pulses um, out to these areas. So we're going to look at especially these... So from the analysis now, we are going yep. to administer some therapy. We're going, to, we're going to start doing some healing now. Yes. From the same system that did the diagnostics. Yeah. Okay, so, so now we, what we want to look here, see these fours down, all these purple areas of fours, so that we would see if they change. And then we've got six and five. So now I'm going to send some healing pulses out. And we want to see as they go through, do, do we change those figures? So to start with, that 6 is now a 5, and that 5 is now a 4, so we're going to send some more pulses out. So already some of them have changed, so we'll send another set of pulses. So this is holding the correct magnetic resonance to, to change the underlying condition. Now already that 6 has changed to a 5 too. And can people physically feel the change taking place when the treatment's um, taking place? Yep, yeah, if, if people who are super sensitive, they can tell you where, where you, what area of the body you're treating. But that's only, I would say, maybe 5% of the population. Yeah. You know, most people would not, although some people, that like if they've got nasal pain or something, pain in the body, they can feel the change often in real time. I'm just going to send more, one, one more set of pulses out. And... We've got some change here, but see this two sixes are still there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to send one more set of pulses out, but now I'm going to send them out. Um, I'm going to put the pulse coming right out in between these two sixes to see if we can get a change with that now. And you see the other six change to a five, Harry. See that six change to a five? All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a comparison before and after to see how much strengthening we've done to the body system. So I'm now going to analyse this. I'm going to um, do comparative analysis before and after. So I'm going to do auto search. And I'm now going to analyse before and after, see what comes up before now. Just wait. So strengthening reactions by 28%. And this one's a really big one, but this is NIDA's defeat. What effectively that means is now the bioreceptors on the cells are totally open for healing, so they're going to start doing their own thing. So this actually is a huge change. There's a 28% improvement from this one to this one, and the bioreceptors on the cells are now actually open for the healing. So that's actually <clears throat> a good sign for you, Harry, because what that means is is that although you probably need to lose, you know, um, two cup of stone and whatever for us, or six, or six. <laughs> I didn't say that, guys. Um, Normally they say, how much do you want to lose yeah. in weight? I have to get a calculator out. Well, exactly. So, um, so you obviously need to do things right, but the good thing is that from this straight away I can tell that the intrinsic energy in the body is good, which means prognostically your road to you know, um, optimum health is going to be a faster one rather than a slower one because of these reactions. And we've only just, we've, we've, we've just done um, diagnostics on about um, 100 different systems of the body. This is just one slice through the body. We haven't even gone into an organ specifically yet. But certainly, um, when you see those things like that, it's, it's a good sign. It is a good sign. I like this system in as much that you can target a specific part of the body very accurately, both yeah. on the analysis and the treatment. Absolutely. Yeah.